2021 BMW 330e Review, Peak Refinement But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. The 2021 BMW 330e is an aberration. It doesn't fit into the traditional performance hierarchy of its 3 Series siblings, which are split into a variety of mainstream, 330i, and M-branded, M340i, M3, M3 competition, etc., offerings, each more powerful than the last. Instead, it could be the best 3 Series for most people, using a plug-in hybrid powertrain to amplify refinement, comfort, and luxury over the standard 330i. And with a modest price premium and usable all-electric range, it could make better financial sense too. Automakers tend to either go wild styling their hybrid vehicles or stick as close to the gas-powered variant's design as possible. BMW took the latter approach, making few changes to distinguish the 330e from the 330i. That means you'll score the same conservative styling, at least compared to other modern BMWs, with a modest pair of kidney grills flanked by an attractive set of headlights. We actually prefer the expressive lamps of the new 4 Series to the scalloped shapes of the 3-er, but this treatment is attractive enough. In back, you'll find the same slim taillights and a subtle duck-billed deck lid as other sedan models. The profile is mostly free of overzealous design, aside from the aggressive kick-up of the lower character line as it extends rearward from the front fender. Adding a dose of sportiness to our tester's exterior is the M Sport package, which introduces standard 19-inch wheels, shot in meaty winter rubber in our tester's case, and adds some menace to the benign front and rear fascia designs. The price is a tall order at $3,800, but the improvements to the exterior design are substantial. This is the stance all three years should have. The cabin is a nice enough place, but as we complained about during our first drive several years ago, it lags behind the Mercedes-Benz C-Class in terms of overall attractiveness. Still, our specific tester deserves credit for its handsome cognac for Nazca leather upholstery and ash grey wood trim. Subtle touches of aluminum add brightness, while the switch gear features the same premium look and feel we expect of a German luxury sedan. Softening the blow of the M Sport Pack's price tag are its standard sport seats, which are ample and supportive in the way all good sport seats are. We'd happily spend hours and hours, be it on a twisting road or on a highway slog, in these well-bolstered, 14-way, heated and cooled chairs. We're less keen on the second row bench, of course, but this isn't a BMW-specific problem. The measurements for the 330e match those of the 330i, with 35.2 inches of legroom, that ties the Mercedes-Benz C-Class and best the Acura TLX, 34.9, though it is slightly down on the Audi A4, 35.7. But put another way, nothing in this class is roomy. Where the 330e excels beyond its gas-only rivals is in regard to refinement. This car is exceptionally quiet under electric power, and the boost from the 107 horsepower electric motor is so substantial that we rarely had to rely on the gas power plant. It'd be on, we watched the power distribution screen intently during testing, but the 2.0-liter mill just didn't need many revs to keep us moving. This is bar none the quietest compact luxury sedan around, and it's thanks to the plug-in hybrid powertrain. Despite the 19-inch wheels and the winter rubber, the 330e is a comfortable thing on the road, too. The standard adaptive dampers mitigate the harshest surfaces and the overall suspension tuning is such that crossing rough sections of road rarely flummox this BMW. In addition to the limited engine noise, there's little wind noise or tire roar either. Really, the 330e is just a very good place to spend some time. You will lose some cargo space with the 330e, but that's hardly unusual with plug-in hybrids. Cargo space is down 3.8 cubic feet, to 13.2 cubes. That's a sacrifice to be sure, but one we'd be okay with. Still, it's worth keeping in mind if trunk space is high on your list of priorities. The heart of any BMW's tech suite is the iDrive system, and so it is on the 330e. A 8.8-inch touchscreen sits atop the center stack and is home for the navigation, audio info, and all the other usual suspects. BMW continues to offer a redundant dial and physical buttons to manage iDrive, although we found ourselves reaching for the touchscreen itself on a regular basis. It's quick to respond and has a pleasant level of haptic feedback. The layout of the operating system lacks the logic and clarity found in older iDrive systems, with the current setup blurring the lines of what lives where in the OS. 
We kept forgetting that access to Apple CarPlay sits at the very top of the screen, rather than in, say, a communications tab. Speaking of wireless CarPlay, while we've had our issues, the technology was mostly on point here. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.